what I wasn't quite prepared for was the ways that we were going to kind of big sister our younger selves and each other. You know, we've been able to talk about all the things that we were too scared to bring up back then. And we've really been able to kind of come to each other's rescue and defense. And, yeah. and we just laugh a lot. And the coolest part is that we're finally seeing our show the way our audience saw it. We'd never done that as before. a fan in a way. Yeah. I, you know, even if we'd catch an episode to live tweet or something, we would have just made it. It was like everything was jumbly. Right. Now we are just seeing the episodes. Right. And it's wild. And the number of times we'll all get choked up and we're like, oh man, it really hits. It hits. It's a really good show. Really? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's really sweet. Well, you talk about all the stuff that you guys went through, and I know you've talked about it a lot. I mean, and you paint the picture of that th this guy was the creator of the show was basically a monster. Yeah. I mean, there's no secret to that. No. It's amazing to me how he could be so open. Usually you think that it'd be one or two people that experience it. Mm -mm. But how many people experience this? Uh, 18 women on our show signed a collective letter. And that was 18 people willing to be public about their experiences in the cast and on the crew. And 25 women on the cast and crew of his subsequent show signed a letter in response about his behavior. And it was obvious in front of the crew. Oh, yeah. He was very open. I think the worst of what he did was hidden. Um, but, yeah, he he was not embarrassed to be handsy, to make inappropriate commentary. He just thought he can get away to, with it. Mm -hmm, to pull people into side rooms for conversations. Um, to keep... <laughs> it's funny when you think about the things that men write. You know, we would have these scenes written... For us, you know, being with our intimate partners on the show, scenes written where we'd be in our underwear and whatever. And we found out from a writer that he kept a board of the fitting photos of each girl in underwear up in his office. Pictures of us that were taken by the wardrobe supervisor who was a woman of us in different versions of underwear and or lingerie that, that, that then had to be approved, picked and, you know, that one would wind up in the show. He just would keep a board of all Jesus these photos. Christ. And we were like, wow, that's super violating. Did anybody ever say, get help, dude? Get fucking help? Uh, yeah, certainly. But when someone's in complete and total control of 250 people's jobs and livelihoods, it's pretty hard to force them to listen. But it was interesting for us, you know, when the show was over uh, really to hear that it was no secret in the industry either. Right. And he kept working as they all do until, you know, this all came out the movement uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then he was fired off Royals or whatever. Uh -huh. Did you ever, do you, how do you feel if you ever were face to face with him in a room, just the two of you to have a conversation? Do you think you could keep your composure? I could do a conversation like this. You could, but even as you ask me to imagine it, like the, sensation of white hot rage in my chest is not small because not only was it the really overt just abuse and manipulation that he you know put so many women through but it was also the more insidious shit it was telling me that joy and hillary were supposedly talking all this shit about me and then telling joy that me and hillary were talking shit about her and telling Hillary that me and Joy were talking shit about her. He, he, making pitted, you all hate each other. He pitted us against each other. Uh, and when you're 21 and your 45 year old married boss is telling you that people are coming into his office to talk about you, you don't think he's making it up. And so the ferocity that I feel about the time he stole from us. Because we clicked fast and we were really, really close and he didn't like it. And it took us a long time to realize that, you know, when he would talk about never letting us be like the Friends cast, we always thought like, yeah, LOL, like what cast is ever going to get paid that much money an episode? <laughs> yeah. But what we didn't realize was that he never wanted us to be best friends because then we would talk about money and then we would advocate together. It wouldn't be that kind of money. But join forces. But we would join forces. And we didn't get that at the time. We were kids. We didn't know anything about the business. 
This was my first TV show. 